In this next video, we're going to make Arch better, right? So, Arcana is a way to install Arch. It's a way to automate everything, so you don't need to be there. It's um, in advance, you decide what desktop you want, what greeter you want, SDM, LightM, what software you want, immediately out of the box. And then it's up to you. Now, it would be unwise to not include my own script. So I have something called get. Get me Cairo Nemesis on Arcana or get Nemesis on Arcana. So everybody has their own scripts. And if you don't, it's time you did. Because typing sudo pacman minus s LibreOffice, sudo pacman minus s, I know, Vivaldi, sudo pacman minus s, sublime text or code or anything, you need to type a lot, right? So what we do is we put everything in scripts and the Arclix Nemesis scripts are just that, a bunch of things, scripts, right? We open it in a terminal. If you wanna see what it is, let's make everything bigger. Voila, that's a bunch of scripts. And all I do on several Linux systems is run this. And it knows it's on Ubuntu, it knows it's on Red Hat, it knows it's on Solus, and it's gonna do different things, right? So, do you want to install ChatWM? It's a yes for me, right? I always am on ChatWM, which is a fork of DWM. And um, for the rest, yeah, I do need to type my password and then you sit back. This is my decision base. Remove this, remove that. If it's not there, it's not removed, fine. But it's it's there for so many distros like like Garuda, like Endeavor OS, right? It's Arch Linux Nemesis is 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 pff, Linux. I could have called it, could change the name to Linux Nemesis, but right. All the videos are explaining these scripts, how to build them, and it's called Arch Linux Nemesis. So let's keep the name but basically it's for anything and here you see the arch Linux tweak tool being installed and it's a bunch of stuff that you can edit that you can change all right and say okay i'm gonna work or start with this i'm gonna read drop this in an ai and and ask what is this doing what is that doing right and then decide to make a bad, better script of it with the help of the ai or not right but there's a logic in this madness of, of <laughs> scripts. And there's also certain, uh, this is also very interesting, the personal folder. So every system, everything you change, it's tiresome each time to go after installation to the settings manager, to, to go to appearance settings, to say, I wanna have this, and then I want icons, and I want to have these icons, and then I want this, right? It is tedious, but you can have, if you know, not always, not, nor not installed yet. Uh, but right, if you know where that file is, just copy paste it over. So the settings of your system is basically just that, a file somewhere that explains take that particular wallpaper and take that particular um, icon and so on, right? Often it's in the .config or it's in the local where the information is written. So all you have to do is keep it safe and copy paste it over after installation. And that's basically the personal folder. But GIMP of course is coming from the internet. So many applications, beautiful applications are there free, just free. Everybody can just use them right like for instance this one install core software open with that mouse pad new sublime text of course right and use the coloring the colors are fun and it makes things readable but why should i type this thing and why should i type that thing if i just can put it in a long list of um, well, text basically, dot sh, so a shell script, make it executable, so it runs and it does this. 
get this, get that, get this. And we tend to forget, right? We tend to forget names and, and the small tweaks and the fun stuff. But it's there. I can't forget. It's just, it's just in the script. I run it again and again and again. And that's the, the great stuff of scripting. Let's um, sit this one out. I don't think it's um, good to keep this recording. So let's wait till we are at the end. Pausing. There is one thing we may, may can do. Let's go to the applications, to the internet. Voila, there are already browsers, as you see. We started with Firefox, but there's already more. And that's um, Arclinux Nemesis, right? This is the Arclinux Nemesis scripts. So github.com, Eric Dubois is my name. Basically, that's all you need to remember because all of it, 222 repositories are here and that's the one you need, the Arclinux Nemesis script. So that's one thing. Have a look because it's, um, it's a lot, right? Watch this video. So hop. A click and off we go but um, go away <laughs> go back it's for all of these guys maybe some of these guys you never heard about all arch based but there's more right non arch based all these guys it runs on it so there's a lot of videos about this particular script or the scripts plural and maybe it's a <laughs> a way to start and have a look there are things what it does how to change it uh, scripting there's package building there's so many things here that's all on the youtube channel of Arclix, the guy eric dubois that's the name right with a k not a c otherwise you end somewhere else but um, that's where you need to go in the meantime voila we're done <laughs> sudo reboot i believe a reboot is enough these days enter again and we got something after running this it should be your thing right it should be arched okay fine cool but it should be your settings should your you put this thing down here all good right whatever go change it all the software you need you need to have it hi i'm root all these guys all these choices let's go over it like this these days we can again make this bigger cool At some point in time it was not possible anymore but freeze the video this is what is now installed right development Giddy up, giddy hat is uh, abandoned now. Giddy up is my way to have a gooey look at Git folders on my machine. Don't need Office often, certainly not here. My choice is WPS. Very, very similar to Excel, to words of the other guy. That's it. So all of this and this is how it looks. Super shift enter, control H. This is what I want. Everything is here. All these things, I want these things, right? Cairo Nemesis does not exist yet, the folder, because we never typed in get Cairo. Nemesis. So another script that's basically going to get this data Cairo Nemesis. But this is created to be on the Cairo ISO. So assuming things are there, I run this again. So this is the, the bulk for every, anything and anything. And this is specifically for the Cairo ISOs, ISO. All right. There is one more thing I think to have a look at. This is not where I stay. I will go to chat up there. 
and I will have this particular thing. I will first kill Pykem. So Super P is killing Pykem, stopping Pykem. Variety, this little guy is getting me all the wallpapers. Lots of things that are coming in that I can choose from that I've never seen before. So let them grab things from the internet and then I'll decide later on what to click on and voila, right? Ctrl-T, what is this? Neo, NeoFetch is not yet installed, right? Sudo pacman minus s NeoFetch. For example, most of us have gone over to, voila, UniFetch is the new name here, but um, most of us have gone over to, I suppose, FastFetch. So FastFetch is this, or FF for short. And yes, we're on a choice I've made a few months ago. I'm always on fish these days. Advantage being, let's do a clean, pseudo Pacman. But sometimes, and not but, but sometimes there are things, what was it again? What was it then? That was it. Query the package that owns file. Sometimes we have to find user bin and there is an application. I don't know which one we want to know. Uh -huh, something nice. I don't know. Well, PW, right? This one. Who provides that particular one? Ah, so when we type pwd, then basically this comes from the core utils. So if you wanna, if you can't type pwd, then you did not install the core utils. So sometimes there are remnants on our machine and you wonder which package provides that, QO. And that's what I like about the fact that if I don't recall, right, you just have a look, list only out of date packages. There's so many things in here, not only with the Q, with the S as well, S, right? Remove all package from cache, you know this one. Yes, please, all gone. Uh, errors, look at that. So there are things in our var cache that are not okay. Let's continue the tutorial, right? CD, var, cache, pacman, packages. And is there something D download? Let's go up, 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 up. <laughs> it's a long list. I don't see the word download or it. Ah, was that? No. Let's see if we can do the following. See what I do. Control Shift C. Funar. Control Shift V. Hopla. Oh yeah, look at that, right? All these things might be leftovers, I don't know. So I don't care. Remove recursively anything with download. And then uh, asterisk. How about that? Is there anything else, a package in here that's called download, for example? Down uh, great, but not download. Okay, then we're good to go. <coughs> Come on, scroll up. There you are. Control C, what is going wrong? Let's see again, sudo remove minus r download and this one. That's quicker. So there you go, everything is gone. And var cache, var cache, another way of going to it, <laughs> Pacman packages, easier. Folders are gone, right? Not that it matters, but ah, clean ship, right? It's nice to have a clean ship. And then all the rest, yeah, you have to learn at ChatWM how it works. 
it's uh, super f you go to firefox no control alt f sorry other key binding um youtube chat wm Arconix. well find yourself a playlist find yourself a playlist maybe you know something you can type behind i don't know playlist so you see all of them at the same time so a lot of information is here available this might be the playlist yeah looks like a playlist, but there is more than this right much more this is arch linux chat wm which means basically use the search not that never that here right chat wm and then you see everything and it's a long list since it's my go-to desktop. ChatWM on Ubuntu, ChatWM on Linux Mint, ChatWM on Solus, ChatWM anywhere. So it uh, has been a voyage of how, what if, right? What if Arch Linux is uh, broke and they stop with this project? Where can Eric Dubois go and have ChatWM again, right? And it's all on Mint, on Ubuntu, FreeBSD, there's so much I've done. And maybe we should end with this. If we go here to the GitHub and then to the repositories, voila. Here you see all of them. Chat up. Mint, Edu, which is updated yesterday. So we've made the icons equally big, thanks to the code of Sidak, of course, not my code. Incorporated the latest code in here. ChatWM, that's the one, Sidak, ChatWM. On Bunsen Labs, Manjaro, Artix, FreeBSD, MX Linux, and the WinVoid, Solos, Alma Linux, Debian, Vidora, Nobara, PopOS, Peppermint, LMGE, Ubuntu, and that's just a grub theme. So, yes, this thing, what you're looking at, ChatWM, works on several Linux systems. You choose which one you like. Cheers.